actually, this topic is a proposition. I'll present to you um, some questions, some concerns about the externality concept that actually this uh, concept is used in welfare economic theory since the 1920. But I in my proposition is introduce this concept of internality, externality with power relations. So that's why the, the, topic, the, the name that I put in my topic, power externality and educational governance, influence of power externalities on academic mobility and research. In a general speaking, externality is a term used in welfare economic theory to describe the costs or benefits incurred by the, a third part, not directly related to the matter, like pollution. Okay? So I'll try to relate the externality concept, as I told you, with the academic mobility. So let's define, it's a proposition, of about this concept related with the topic of academic mobility. Please allow me to read the concept. Power externality is a situation where the interconnected social power relations jointly with political economic business cycles and governance agendas affect a third part, not directly related. In this case, we may consider the power externality related to educational policies concerning academic mobility, research, and development. This is the power externality triangle. It's a proposition that I made before and is published at Cadmus Journal of WAAS. So you can see the social power relations as, a, as the main head of a power triangle that uh, considers together governance and business cycles topics. Uh, continue if, the, if this matter related to academic mobility and the discussion that I, I will propose about brain drain and brain gain. Uh, just to uh, describe a little bit more because this, this presentation is, is an abstract, and so small. Uh, power relations are related to, to institutional power, informal power, and potential power. Mm, uh, governance is related, in general, generally speaking, in, about, in public management and public budget policies or. Or, and so on. And business cycles are related to economic and political cycles. This is, uh, um, please allow, allow me one more, once more to, to describe my theoretical proposition and I will read again. Uh, negative power externality education could be considered as a situation where Although the government and the society are conscious about the dilemmas involving social policies, because the flexibility and interchangeability between power relations, jointly with the political, economic, business cycles and governance agendas, the best choice in terms of educational policies in research and development matters are not fulfilled as expected in society is harmed. Of course, there is positive power externalities. It's, we, it, I'll, I'll describe I'll, uh, the term in the next uh, slide. But let's see again uh, the argument that I put here. Uh, my argument is that since government and so civil society need to perform negotiations for educational policies, the governance agenda is inter interconnected with politics and business cycles, and the social powers relations are the arena that governs these uh, relations, as I told you. Likewise, a positive poly, uh, power externality can occur. The difference is, is at the end of the description of the proposition. Um, in this case, uh, the best choice in terms of educational policies and research and development are more likely to be achieved and the society is benefited. So, positive power externality is a good outcome for the society as a whole, and since it brings social and educational improvements in general. But what, what 
are my concerns about power externalities and the uh, academic mobility and brain drain and the brain gain aspects. So the questions that, that I thought, and these are only questions, I don't have answers, just for reflection. Uh, the questions are, could academic mobility and research and development policies be aspects of power externalities in a negative or a positive sense? In which ways? And could brain drain and brain gain be aspects of power externalities for whom? Uh, considering this, I researched some topics, some papers related to this field. Uh, I put three papers. They, uh, of course, there is no time to explore the, the, them, but let's see this paper. Brain drain and brain gain and mobility, theories and prospective methods. And then I, I, um, I stressed some concerns about the, this, this, this paper. Uh, let's see, uh, the first one. A country suffers an outflow of its educational elite on a scale treating the needs of national development in the long term. Uh, brain gain, uh, on the other hand, the, in, the, in a contrastive term, brain gain, sorry, the first one is related to brain drain aspect. The second one is related to brain gain aspect, gain aspect. Brain gain is relatively new, according to the authors. It was coined in the 90s to describe collectively the attempts, efforts, programs, and projects aimed to draw scientific workers to a given country. So let's see and another point of view. And these authors point some other aspects of brain drain and the brain gain. Uh, the, the phenomenon concerned to escape, to migration, uh, and the others concerns, uh, the, 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 the aspects concerning uh, uh, research and development too, and the, the main, how can I say, the main, main findings of these articles is that the, it's about the future, the future of the comprehensive research university in Europe. So this paper, I, I brought the paper if you want, I have a copy, it's not mine, they are not my friend, uh, friends of mine, I just researched. Uh, we, we can see about this, way, this, uh, this other paper. This paper is called International Academic Mobility Towards a Concentration of the Minds in Europe. Um, as I, as I told you, the, the, con the, the main topic of this paper is, the, is, a, is about concentration of research and development in, in Europe and the costs and benefits related to this. That's why, uh, the, 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 that's why the questions that I put about power externalities. Uh, because power externalities are related to the costs of benefits. When a country invest in research and development, there is a cost and a benefit. But how about other, we, we the, the nations start a kind of racing, or uh, that, uh, that leads to the nations less developed to suffer brain drain. What can occur? According to the, other, the first paper, could be many phenomena uh, related to this, to this main pheno principal phenomenon, that is research and development attracting. Could be migration, escaping, being drained. And if you, one country wants to develop research and development, of course, it, it, it will suffer positive power externality. But it can... Um, it can, it can, it, it make, can make to, to the other, the, another country, in a peripheral country, can suffer negative power externality because uh, its brains are being drained. So uh, the main, the main, um, the main concerns about this, uh, this relation, this, this proposition is, in which scale, in which ways, uh, for whom uh, positive or negative power externalities can occur. 
And what will be the, the, the final, the racing, the final, the final of this racing for different levels of development uh, of the nations uh, around the globe? So if you, there, is, there are power externalities, and in economic theory, power externality is considered a market failure. If it, there is a market failure, economic theory, orthodox economic theory indeed, um, tells us that uh, could be intervention. What kind of intervention? Could be a government intervention, uh, uh, mean through pub public policies, could be private, could will be private market solutions, it could be voluntary collective solutions. So these three points of solutions follows the the power triangle that I am proposing, because government solutions or public policy are related to the governance. Private market solutions could be related to the business cycles, economic business, political and economic business cycles, and governance too. And voluntary collective action solutions could be related to the social power and the, the, in, in, in its three forms of existence, institutional power, informal power, and potential power. So when uh, I finish the presentation with the same questions, OK? Uh, could academic mobility and the research and development policies be aspects of power externalities, positive or negative? You, and you, you, we must see that if it for there, if it there will there are positive power externality for one, for a country that develop research and, and uh, that the research in a large scale, this positive externality could be a negative externality to other country or the city that, that suffers brain drain. How, uh, so that's why I mentioned uh, um, uh, a race. A race for what? to be what, to cause E, and, and this race could, be, prov could provide a kind of, uh, if we consider a market failure, this race could provide uh, solutions to this market failure. As I told you, public policies, private solutions, or voluntary collective actions in general. Thank you very much. <laughs>